In this video, I'm going to show you how to query the user profile web service from a remote SharePoint application. I'm going to open the Workbench tool that has a script that lets us consume the web service from a remote SharePoint site. We have here the URL, and then we have a mechanism to authenticate. And after we authenticate, we're going to call the getProfileSchema method that's going to give us the properties, the fields for um, the user profile. Now, uh, as I'm logging into a local site, I can actually use my default credentials. So um, if you're working locally, there's no need to, to enter your password, your, your credentials. Um, before I do run that, I'm going to set up the workbench so I can see the logs and I can see the result. OK, so now we run the tool and we get um, all the fields for that uh, user profile um, here in the table and um, you get the name plus all the properties for it. Okay, so um, that's a very simple situation. It's probably uh, not the, the usual. The point of using web services is to be able to work with a remote SharePoint site. So you can, if you're using Windows uh, or FBA, you can set the credentials uh, directly here. If you leave the password blank, you will be prompted for it. And there you go, we got the properties again. Now, um, if you're in Office 365 or, or using claims, you would have to switch the authentication type to claims. And in this case, the authentication works a bit different. Uh, differently. You don't have to put the domain or the password. Uh, instead, you're going to get prompted to log in through the browser. So let's try that. I'm going to switch the URL to an Office 365 site. Um, it's actually Office uh, uh, SharePoint 2013, but uh, it works. Um, just the same. So uh, this, in this case, the prompt is a bit different. Um, what we're trying to do here is get you signed in through the browser so we can get um, cookies, a valid cookies to make the call. So let's log in. And once we get the cookies, that's all we need. We can actually uh, continue now and we can get the properties uh, there as well. Now if you don't gonna want to get prompted um, every time you can actually set the cookies programmatically. Now the cookies will expire so it's okay to copy paste um, while you're testing. Now um, the next time we run this you, we won't get the prompt. Now let's call a different method. There, there are several methods that we can use. Um, so for example Let's get a user profile. So um, we can get a user profile by index. Let's get profile zero. This web service returns um, an object that we can we we can visualize by just sending it to the result tab. That's the response property. So I'm going to say uh, profile.serialize so we can see see what it looks like. There we got the first call for the um, schema, the fields that are defining the profile. And then we get the actual um, values for the, for the first um, profile in our, in our application. So there you go. Um, I hope um, this is useful. Please contact me if you have any questions. Thank you.